everybody got another IP recap. This is from the second to the last day of the regular season for the minor leagues. It was a Sunday. Uh, it's the same week that I did uh, Gwinnett and uh, what other team I saw that week, I forget, Altoona. But yep, yeah, second last day of the regular season for the minor leagues. Went to Richmond one last time. They were playing Bowie, had the Bowie team set and had passed Frederick and whatnot team set so went got there for BP wasn't sure if teams would be doing it considering the uh, season's about to end and Bowie was about to hit the playoffs also it was a double hair that day so wasn't sure but Bowie came out on the field for a bad practice which is the main reason why I was there and uh, coming out to the field got relief pitcher Jason Garcia he signed two of two I'm on his dual rookie and his Bowie team set card from this year. And then coming on the field, I got their pitching coats. Kenny Steenstra. Team set. Uh, this next guy, he was actually, he's a relief pitcher, but he was starting the second game of the double header. So, he wasn't doing uh, BP, or warm up with the pitchers for BP. But he came out and was just talking with some of the other players and then walked back to the dugout. So, I was really happy uh, to have the opportunity to get this guy. I got him. He's actually a pretty good relief pitcher. Uh, Tanner Scott. He did 4-4 four four for me. That's Aberdeen set from 2015. This year's Bowie. Last year's Frederick. And another Aberdeen set card. So, I'm really happy to get Tanner Scott. He's a nice little autograph. So, happy to get him. And uh, then, pitchers coming off the field. Got David Hess. Really nice guy. He did two of two for me. Happy to get David. And then, this is still pitchers coming off the field. Position players haven't come on yet. The pitchers are just done kind of warming up and running around. Uh, Jesus Lorizano. Him on one. Can I see right there? It's kind of dark on camera, but you can see it pretty well in person. And then the position player started to come on the field. Got Austin wins. Warming up before he did warm up stretches for BP. Got uh, Dabrez Rosa on the buoy. And I got him on last year's Tides team set card. I got Ryan Messenger, two of two. Bowie has the regular team set, and they also have the update set. And when they shipped the update set, they sh sent two of them to me. So, got two Ryan Messenger. Uh, last pitcher coming, last two pitchers come off the field at Tim Barry. Never got him before. So, got him on this year's team set, which is part of the update. I got him on his 15 Heritage. He's only doing two per. After I got him, I got Scott McGuff on Todd's team set card from this year. And uh, one guy who's there graphing, he didn't. He was only there for Austin Hayes and Ryan Mountcastle, so I asked him if he would get uh, two Tim Berry cards signed for me, so he hooked me up with these two Tim Berries. So that was nice of him. Uh, got DJ Stewart come on the field. He did three to three for me. Uh, he he probably would sign more, but I only brought three. I've got him a bunch in the past, and I just wanted to make sure got him on the team set and his a new Bowman. And then I also threw this one out there. I think it's the last one of these uh, draft dividend cards I had of him. So just get that signed. He's a nice guy. All these guys are really nice. Uh, Audrey Perez on the team set card. Uh, and then coming onto the field, uh, last guy I got when they were warming up, I got uh, Ryan Mountcastle. He did two of three. Got him on Carolina League's top prospect and the Frederick team set from this past year. Uh, got 
to had to go outside and came back inside for the actual game. Got trainer Patrick Armstrong. Then that's the players are coming onto the field for game one of the doubleheader. Adrian Marin, two of two. Team set card. And his Bowman. We got Mount Castle again. Had him do my last card. He was signing more before the game, too. He was signing like four to five people. Got the guy who's been tearing up in the major leagues, Austin Hayes. He did four or four for me, so Billy's team set. He's in the update set. Uh, Frederick team set card. He's a really nice autograph, too. Got him on the Carolina League top prospects card. And I got him on another... Uh, update Frederick cards inside too. So, how do you get Austin Hayes? Uh, hopefully, he'll start the year with Norfolk next year, even though he's been tearing up in the Baltimore when he was up there. Hopefully, I'll get to see him though because he'll have a Bowman draft and he'll probably have another card. So, hopefully, I'll get to see him again. Steve Wilkerson got him on three. That's an update, so update set card for their team set. Him on uh, Frederick team set from last year. And another update team set. Got their manager, Gary Kendall. Kind of hard to see. You can see it better in person. And this next guy, he was in the dugout, but I kind of waved for him. He was at the far end, so couldn't really yell for him, but I waved at him, and he knew what I wanted, so he came over. Really nice. Steel Russell. Uh, Adeline Rodriguez. Kind of dark card, but he has a nice little autograph. Eric Sacido, who's been around with a bunch of teams for a long time, but nice as always. And then the last guy who was happy to get, as I've always just kept missing him, Cedric Mullins. Got him on the Bowie team set card, uh, Aberdeen team set card, last year's Delmarva team set card. And another Aberdeen. And then to end the day, I uh, went to see who the charters were. And one charter was John Means, who I needed. So I got him on Frederick team set card from last year. Got him on, even though it says Ryan Messenger, it's actually John Means in the picture. Uh, I asked Ryan Messenger and he said it was John Means and then... John Means also said that was him, so if you get this card, it's actually John Means on the photo, so I went with the guy who's actually in, in the card photo, so I got John Means on that. And then I also got him on his update, well actually his regular team set card, so. And then I got Daniel Carbonell, he did 2-2 two two for me in between games. So I have on these two heritages. So yep, that's the recap. It was a pretty good day. And I only have two more videos to make. I have a Carolina League Championship game recap between the Lynchburg Hillcats and Frederick Keys. It was actually a championship game that I went to. And then I have a, a consignment recap I need to put up. But thanks for watching. Uh, peace.